one question for you. you what are those? What's up guys, Fatty Mansi checking in here and in this video uh, I'm going to be talking about what exactly has been happening with me, where I'm at and where I'm going. Uh, so I first want to start off by apologizing for the camera angle and the fact that it's not in landscape. Uh, it wasn't my intention to originally use this footage for this video, uh, but it ended up being a uh, pretty good video for me to uh, actually use. Um, so a little over a month ago, uh, I was walking out a squat and my left leg, uh, my Robocop leg, <laughs> almost completely hyperextended uh, while walking it out. Since my Achilles surgery from years ago and lack of proper rehab post-surgery, uh, I always knew I had some stability issues and muscular imbalances, but uh, I just kept holding them off and I kept pushing these issues to the back burner. Why? Well, uh, the simple answer is that um, doing core and stability work solely is simply just not fun. Uh, nobody likes to work on something that they're not good at, and uh, it just didn't drive me to get to the gym. Uh, I know what and how I needed to do uh, what I needed to do, but let's just face it, uh, <laughs> doing exercises to strengthen you know, muscular imbalances and and stabilization uh, it's just not as fun as let's say bodybuilding or powerlifting or even just like I don't know bicep curls uh, so after this scare of buckling with uh, 330 pounds on my back um, I took that as a sign that I needed I need to tone it down I need to tone down the intensity significantly so my plan moving forward was that uh, on my rest days, I was going to incorporate a lot of single leg work, focusing in particular on balance, core, and of course stabilization. So everything was going good, and uh, then about a week and a half into it, so I'm doing this about three times a week, and, about, and a week and a half into it, uh, I don't think my body was ready for the stress load that I was putting on it. Uh, it could be something else, but this was my conclusion. Uh, so just uh, as an FYI for you guys, when working on stabilization and endurance or uh, stabilization and endurance, uh, which is what I'm doing, uh, it's recommended to, do, to be on the higher end of the rep range spectrum. So if you're doing two-legged work, uh, let's, like let's say a, a ball squat, you're gonna do 12 to 20 repetitions and then if you're doing single leg work like a single leg step up uh, or um, let's say like a pistol squat you're uh, for strength uh, I'm sorry for uh, stabilization and endurance you want to go in the um, medium to lower rep range so 6 to 10 reps again these are just uh, this is just a uh, outline for what you need well uh, I was progressing so well in this uh, part of stabilization and endurance phase that instead of gradually increasing the reps and then the weight, uh, I did both <laughs> at the same time. So basically I didn't treat myself uh, how I would treat a client because, uh, well, because it's me bro. <laughs> no, I uh... You know, just talking about it now, it just sounds so ridiculous to me to do something like this. Uh, but my ego, <clears throat> it got the best of me, and I paid for it. 
Uh, so what happened from here is uh, at the end of one workout, I was walking back the dumbbells and I felt like a strange uh, pulling on my like my right side, right hip, uh, right side of my uh, core. Uh, something like this has ever happened to you, you kind of know what I mean. Uh, it was painful, but uh, I was done with the exercise, so all I needed to do at this point was put these weights back and go home and stretch. <clears throat> uh, I took one more step and I almost collapsed right there on the gym floor. It's pretty embarrassing, so I had to try and play it off, but uh, I actually quickly just dropped the weights and uh, basically walked like an old man uh, back to my gym bag. I threw a foam roller on the floor and then I, uh, I tried to roll out the pain and that didn't do anything. Uh, I, could, I could barely even get back up. I couldn't even breathe correctly. Uh, it was unlike uh, any kind of pain I've kind of had in the past. Um, this was actually some of the worst physical pain I've, I've had in my life other than uh, ACL and uh, <laughs> Achilles tear. Um, I, couldn't even, I couldn't breathe correctly. I was walking slow. Uh, it was excruciating to lay on my side or even on my back. Uh, sitting down was out of the question. Like I couldn't even sit down for like, two days. Um, the only time I felt good or decent was to slowly walk around and or just stand up. So basically my whole stabilization system was shot. It felt like it was non-existent. So that happened on a Friday. I ended up going to the chiropractor the following Tuesday because that's when they were open. And uh, sure enough, my hips were completely out of alignment. And it, it really felt like it. Uh, it felt like my right leg was uh, actually a little bit shorter. And uh, my theory, which the chiro said could be a high possibility, is this. is uh, My left leg is the bad leg. So therefore, what I do is I overcompensate on that leg, and particularly on that glute. And I, I don't use my right glute enough while doing day-to-day -day, day -day activities, and of course, that intensifies uh, through uh, exercise. So I, I highly believe that this is a situation because uh, even now, uh, when I do my stabilization work, uh, my left, excuse me, my right leg is always harder to stabilize. Uh, so with that being said, I decided to uh, take a break from powerlifting, not necessarily the movements, but uh, I was always aiming for a number and a date. Um, so there's been a few powerlifting meets that I've, have came up this year and I've been wanting to compete in them. And it could be a coincidence, but uh, every time I've been ready to peak for those particular weeks uh, or, or uh, you know, month or so leading up to it, I tend to pick up like a minor injury along the way. Uh, so I'm not necessarily quitting powerlifting. Uh, yeah, I guess I lied a little bit in the title. <laughs> um, but if you've been following me, you know, throughout this past year, I've been running into like little injury after little injury, like hamstring, lower back, calf, um, upper back, so and now uh, and now my hip. So taking it as a sign. Um, what I'm gonna be doing now. Uh, with my training as far as squats and deads go is periodizing my uh, sets and rep schemes week by week. So for example, in this video that we're watching, uh, I did five sets of nine with 210 pounds. Uh, and following week, I uh, did five sets of six and uh, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to get into to that too much. I'll, uh, I'll show you a split on my uh, on a separate video. So aside from ham hammering down my form, uh, this is also going to be helping me build more muscle size and uh, strength. Uh, so not necessarily power. Uh, ideally, you know, uh, I would be hitting all my muscles uh, twice weekly. Uh, but while including my stabilization program, it's just not possible without the risk of <laughs> injuring myself again. Now. Uh, I don't want you guys to mistake this video as like a pity party for me. So that, that's not what I want and that's not my intention at all. 
uh, I just want to inform you guys of where I'm at and to address your issues if you know uh, you have some muscular imbalances no matter how minor they are it's gonna add up over time so address it uh, and hopefully in a video to come I'll record a session of what exercise I'm doing what warm-ups I'm doing uh, for my core and stabilization so you can see how uh, I'm preparing myself to get to the next level of my health so until then guys I'll see you guys on the next video please don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already peace